Reed Richards may be smart, but he is also an undeniable massive jerk. He really puts the dick in the Fantastic Four. As far as heroes go, he's one of the freaking worst, honestly, and yeah, let's talk about it. I'm Will for What Culture, and here are the 10 worst things Reed Richards has ever done. 10. He injected Franklin with nanomachines. Now, when your kid has the power to alter reality to his every whim, to the point where he can magically undo the miscarriage of his little sister, it stands to reason that you would want to keep an eye on him to make sure he isn't going to bright burn on your ass. But in the short-lived series Fantastic Four slash Power Pack, we learn that Reed's method of doing this is nanomachining the ever-loving snot out of his kid. This is bad enough on its own, but then it turns out that the nanomachines are potentially radioactive. Smartest man on planet risks giving his son cancer. Doesn't sound great, does it? 9. He hid the fact that the Fantastic Four were dying. In Matt Fraction's excellent run on Fantastic Four back in 2013, Reed makes the horrifying discovery that getting hit by cosmic rays might have some longer term negative side effects. While the four did get amazing powers from the cosmic rays, those same powers are basically a form of super cancer that is slowly killing them all. But does Reed tell his family this? Of course he doesn't. Reed felt that he could fix this on his own and not even need to tell them that they might be dying. So he hides this fact from his family until it all blows up in his stupid face. 8. Forming the Council of Reeds while technically not the action of our Reed, enough versions of him make this decision that it definitely counts. Jonathan Hickman opened his legendary run on the Fantastic Four with Reed being approached by three different versions of himself, who took him to see the Council of Reeds, a meeting of the same mind throughout the multiverse who all gather to swap notes and workshop ideas on how to solve everything. Sounds harmless enough, right? Yeah, no, it isn't. See, as we'll learn later in this list, Reed as a character is very close to crossing the line into megalomaniacal evil if he doesn't have his family to yank back on his chain. And while the intentions of the council members are genuine and good, they go about it in a cold, surgical way that our Reed just can't abide by for long. 7. Made Ben Wear a Thing Suit Ben's transformation into the Thing represents many things, but in terms of Reed's character, it's a near constant reminder of the consequences of listening to his own ego instead of the facts. Fortunately though, many moments have come in the past where Ben has gotten to have his normal body again. But one time when he did, Reed didn't really think through how his friend felt about his former Thing body. So when Luke Cage left the team, leaving them with only three members again, Reed decided to put Ben back on the team by making him a suit so that he can keep up. Sounds harmless enough, downright thoughtful in fact. Shame that he messed up by making it look exactly like the thing. It's so disrespectful to Ben to force him into a suit of his old horrific disfigurement, it's almost hilarious, but undeniably a major jerk move. 6. Back to the Registration Act now, in fairness to Reed, nobody comes out of Civil War looking good. The way Reed saw it, way more people would have died in various ensuing conflicts if the Registration Act had not passed, which is a fairly good reason for the backing of the Act itself. Less so for the actions he takes after that inciting incident. I'll get to the two biggest ones soon, but even barring those, backing the Registration Act helps set into motion all the other horrible stuff done by people besides him, so he definitely shares the blame somewhere along the line. Good job he gets his ass kicked by Spider-Man at the end. Spectacular. 5. Founded the Illuminati The Illuminati was the product of a bunch of super smart, super paranoid heroes coming together to try and solve potential problems for the Marvel Universe before they have time to actually become problems. All of the Illuminati members are plenty paranoid on their own, but putting them all in one room together with zero reins to yank them back down to Earth is a recipe for trouble. It was the Illuminati who decided that the best course of action for dealing with the Hulk was to shoot him into space. Yeah, didn't really go well for you, did it, Reed? 4. Built a prison in the negative zone Reed's biggest screw-up in Civil War, by far, is his decision on what should be done with the superheroes who defy the Registration Act when they get caught by the government. Lock them up in the negative zone. 
This is a downright fascist move by Reed and has almost zero justification for it. Since as Civil War so handily displayed, the Marvel Universe isn't exactly hurting for places to put superpowered folks when they get too uppity, so why resort to trapping them in an extra dimensional gulag at all? But as genuinely horrible an act as this is, it pales in comparison to Reed's other big jerk move in Civil War. 3. Made a Killer Thor Clone Cloning as a concept is one of the most controversial in modern science. It can easily cross the line into being an incredibly invasive breach of privacy and trust of a person's body, especially if they don't give their express consent. However, to Reed Richards, consent is more of a suggestion than a rule, it seems. Now, one could argue that Thor was dead at the time, so whether or not he consented to being cloned doesn't really play into the situation. In turn, you could argue that it is so much worse. Especially since the first thing this Thor clone does is brutally murder the superhero Goliath during the first major conflict of Civil War, in turn escalating everything that happens in that story and beyond. Reed does a lot of shifty stuff in Civil War, and this is by far the worst of it. 2. His misogyny towards Sue For the most part, that original run of the Fantastic Four holds up really well. Unfortunately, there's one part where the old books really show their age. Reed's misogynistic behavior towards Sue. Pretty much all modern writers who work on the Fantastic Four nowadays just pretend this was never a thing, and there's nothing wrong with that, but when you want to talk about the worst things Reed has ever done, talking down to one of the most magnificent people in the Marvel Universe like she's some useless, helpless thing, and having that be played for laughs definitely needs to be mentioned. But hey, at least this era of Reed is well and truly behind us, which is more than the final entry on this list can say. 1. Becoming the Maker Ultimate Reed Richards seemed like a normal alternate version of our Reed at first, granted with a few things changed to set the two apart. But over time, the layers began to be peeled off to reveal that this version of Reed was a true blue sociopath with a fundamentally contemptuous view of human life, and his universe in particular. So he became the maker, with the aim of leaving his universe behind to find one that's a tad more fascinating, after blowing up his original one, of course. He wouldn't be that bad of a villain if his motivation stopped at needing a vacation. The Maker is basically everything that 616 Reed struggles with and fights to keep himself from becoming every single day, as this list so handily demonstrates. He is all of Reed's vices, with none of his virtues, and becoming the Maker, with everything the Maker then does afterwards, is by far the worst thing any version of Reed Richards has ever done. And there you have it folks, the 10 worst things Reed Richards has ever done. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at uslidedowgu. I'm Will for What Culture, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.